Hello everyone! In today's video I'm going to talk to you about how to cut toenails so you don't hurt anyone and show you the amazing progress of my clients nails after using the Imperial Feet Nail Mycosis for nail fungus. So stay tuned! many of you taking care of your parents or loved ones and I get questions every day about how to cut the toenails so you don't hurt the person you're working on and the very first thing is to make sure you've soaked their feet in warm water it's probably best to work on the nails when they get out of the shower or bath and that way the skin is pliable and it isn't so dehydrated that the cuticle remover just rolls off the cuticle area when you're using nippers like the ones I'm using, don't try to insert the entire length of the blade under the nail. You're only going to concentrate on using the tip to the center of the blade. Insert the tip and squeeze to make a little cut in the nail. And then you'll move slowly across the nail plate, just moving the tip to the center so it doesn't flatten out the nail plate. Insert the tip, squeeze, scoot, squeeze, yeah, scoot, squeeze. Nothing really, when that nerve pain comes on so suddenly and it feels like you're just getting don't forget to leave me a comment or a question for your chance to win one of the tools I am using in the video and one of the lucky commenters will also be featured in the comment hall of fame on my Instagram. Oftentimes with older people's nails, the skin on the sides of the nail is pretty dry and there is a lot of compacted skin and material under the nail making it hard to find room to insert the nipper. That's why I start in the center of the nail and work to one side, then flip the nipper over the other way and cut the nail to the other side. You can see after I make a couple of nips, there's a lot of dead skin underneath that free edge and we're gonna work on slowly removing that. You don't have to cut the entire length of the nail all at once. We're just gonna go slow, so we make sure that we don't cut any of the skin under the nail, and that we can remove any of that dried up skin under the nail, cut that away as well. A lot of this stuff under the free edge of this big toenail is some old nail fungus that she's been treating and the nail plate has new healthy nail growing and pushing out all of that old stuff but it's important see that oh we got to get rid of that it's important to get all of that stuff out of there because you don't want old nail fungus to stay under there and to start being able to proliferate. So you need to clean all of the old stuff away so it's nice, clean, fresh. There's space for the treatment to get around and underneath the nail to make sure that it has eradicated any of the nail fungus and that it's unable to continue to invade her nail plate. How old is your dog? At the beginning of the video, I talk about the skin being so dehydrated that when you apply the cuticle remover that it just rolls off of the skin. And this is a pretty good example of even a wet foot that's been soaking in a foot bath. It's absorbing the cuticle remover, but it also gets dehydrated again very quickly because her skin is so dry. So you're going to see me apply the cuticle remover a couple of times to get that dead skin that you can see right around her cuticle area nice and soggy. Because when I go to remove it, a lot of it's going to be really hard to push on and it just won't come off. 
and you're going to need to apply the cuticle remover a couple of times. That's good. Another question people have been asking me lately is what is my favorite grit of nail file? If I'm using a regular nail file, the grit that I like to use on toenails is 180. It is smooth enough, but also takes off enough length. But this is my absolute favorite nail file. I don't use anything else now on the toenails except the stainless steel nail file. And its grit is equivalent to I would say 150 to 180 and it just smooths the nail plate so nicely and I can sanitize it in between clients so there's not a lot of waste. Another question I get is what's so special about the cuticle pusher that you're using? There's a couple of different aspects that makes this cuticle pusher very important in my line of work. Not only is it angled, so the way that I hold it, it is able to push back any of the adhered material on the nail plate. It's angled, but then it's also got a sharpened angle on the edge, so it's tapered. So when I slide really it backwards, it's almost toes, like, a like, a, uh, like a spatula. It kind of just scrapes off like if you were going to remove loose paint on the side of your house and you tried to do it with yeah, maybe put it like um, right your a butter knife you can't really do it but if you were to use a sharp knife it would just it slide right underneath and get it off easy that's what this cuticle pusher does yeah I just want to thank all of you who have purchased items from my online store. It means a lot to me that you support my brand and my small business, and it shows you appreciate and are able to utilize the content that I create on my channel. All of the tools that I use are professional tools, and they are the tools available to you on my online store. And if you don't want to add one item at a time to your cart, there's a pedicure kit that includes the cuticle remover, cuticle pusher, nippers, stainless steel file, and ingrown well, sidewall cleaner. It doesn't include the amber bottle to put the cuticle mover in, but you can add that to your cart. And there are over a hundred items on my store now, and you get free shipping for any purchase over $100. In past videos, you've seen me use my mini white buffer blocks to bluff the top of the nails. This is equivalent to it, just a little bit more powerful. It's an extra fine cross-cut cone bit. I can use it going forward or backwards. If there weren't a little bit of the nail fungus still left on her nail plate, I probably would just use the white buffer blocks, but I'm using this because I just want to buff off those top layers of nail plate to get off any little bits of the remaining nail fungus. She's she's got almost got it rid of, but She's not super diligent about using the nail mycosis, so I do end up telling her to try to keep it next to her toothpaste so she can remember to use it in the morning and night. So I'm quite surprised that her not remembering to use it every single day has gotten such a good result as it has. Children are a blessing. If you're working on someone's toes and are having trouble seeing or using your tools with the foot flat, don't be afraid to straighten out the leg and work on the foot with the toes up in the air so you can see better. I'm just getting off some little pieces of dead skin before I do the foot scrub and the massage and then the progress photos of her toes are coming up. 
please remember to leave me a comment so you can be entered into the drawing to win one of the tools I'm using in this video and one of you will also be featured on my comment hall of fame on my Instagram. photo was taken in March, the next photo was taken in August, and the last photo was taken in September. So that's six months of using the Imperial Feet Nail Mycosis Solution for her nail fungus. And you can also find that on my online store. Thanks for watching everyone. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my channel. You can visit my social media sites to follow and interact, and I would really appreciate it so much if you would click that share button and share your favorite videos to help me grow my channel. Here are some other great video suggestions for you. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.